Hi, Raymond Spodrowskis, creator of the local trade copper. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can copy trades on a special uh, instruments that metal traders have. So those could, you, you know, I usually call them non-forex pairs, you know. So those are the various like CFDs, indices, you know, oil instruments and so on. So you can see a detailed list of these in, in this menu. If we go to symbols, we have this huge list, you know, of all the instruments. You know, we can go and, uh, you know, see all these lists that FXAM demo account has. So, I will be using uh, this particular instrument for the demonstration purposes, you know, but there are so many uh, more of them, you know. So, it doesn't matter which one you need to use. Uh, basically setup will be the same so I will use this one for demonstration purposes I will open the chart window and first I will have to install the server EA so I can install server EA on any chart that I want any time frame so I will install on euro dollar chart as the default chart that I always use I will put my license key and then I click OK there we go so, next I will go to the first client, so I will have three client accounts for this demonstration. And on this client, I have the same instrument. So, if we look at the first one, it says, you know, GR, uh, sorry, GER 30, and second client has basically the same name so it will be easy to copy you now so basically default installation should work I will load the client TA enter my license key and click OK here we go okay then we need to go to the third third platform which is client number two and on this platform we have a different name for that same uh, instrument so I will have to use some custom um, configuration for the client TA so it will go like this I will load the client TA, enter my license key and then I need to use this option right here custom symbol mapping and I, I will have to enter it in this format so basically it goes like this GER30 is the name of the instrument on the master account and then I enter equals and then I need to enter the name of the same instrument on the client account so there are a lot of brokers that have the same instrument but usually they name it differently not sure why, why is that happening you know why all that confusion but it's the way it is and because of that we need to put this extra configuration so I need to enter DE30 dot here we go so if there would be any additional instruments I can separate them by comma and just enter you know maybe it would be SP500 uh, equals SP and P500 you know on some brokers it, it, you know it's not like that but we just have one and I will use this as an example you know for this demonstration Okay, click, okay, click OK button, uh, client EA is loaded, and let me switch, sorry, to the last method trader, which is client number three, and this client has the same instrument by a total different name again. So I will do the same. I will load my client EA, put my license key, and then I will use the same format so GER30 equals to GRXEUR. There we go. Click OK. Now, if it's the first time you are doing this, so I do recommend you use a demo account just to play around of how this works. And if you're using real money account, you can still try, you know, play around. But then I would recommend you using pending orders.
as you know, the most easiest way to test anything. Uh, you know, with the trade copper, you can just put the pending order somewhere, somewhere um, very high. You know, kind of at the uh, you know big distance from the current market price. Okay, so let's try to place the sell limit at this price. Once again, here we go. So I have. At price 101.02.35, let's go to the second MetaTrader as client number one. So I have my pending order at the same price, copy it, and you know, symbol name is the same. And then the client number two, it had copied, you know, the the pending order at the uh, at a slightly different price, as it seems, it used some kind of different different format. You know, we can see that it used one digit uh, after you know after the separator. So the number was rounded. You know, the price was rounded automatically to make it a, you know so the client A could place the order. And then the symbol name is different, but because we have that custom symbol mapping enabled, uh, EA was able to recognize the name and just place the order. You know, so again, on the first, you know, on the master account, it's this symbol name, and on this one, is the symbol name is different. And on the last instance, we have a totally different name again. And we have the price, you know, the same price. So all all the clients were, were you know, they copied the same trade, even if uh, if all these symbol names were different. So as you can see, this configuration is quite easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.